Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, it's me Constantine and today in the world of indie games We're gonna be checking out a really really special game now as you guys know I always look for the most amazing games out there and I believe that 2G's here is gonna be a really special one Now this game I've been playing a little bit of it and let me tell you all it is gonna be really really different I've never played a game like this before and I really love what the developers have done with this one So without further ado, let me just take a quick moment here to thank Thunderful Games for providing a review copy to share the game with you all And of course if you guys are interested in one grab game for yourselves as usual the game is gonna be down below in the description you can go ahead and check it out and without further ado guys sit back relax and uh, let's just jump right into this one and explore this crazy looking colorful world together let's do this oh man i cannot wait to uh start playing this game this is gonna be so special Beneath all the cosmos in the depths of the galaxy there is an endless wall keeping the known universe from the dangers of the unknown. In the formation of the constellations, the leaders of each domain keep the balance, and the king must protect all existence. This is the story of... Tony's. There we go. <laughs> Loving the sounds they're making, though. It's just special. Love it. All right, now, if I were to compare... Uh, or more like specify what we're going to be playing here as I would say that we're going to be playing as a smart vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Look at that. Hi, I'm Toomba. More like Roomba. <laughs> 2G, automatic, vacuum, and manipulator of blocks artificial. There we go. As I was saying, we're going to be playing as a smart robot, as a smart vacuum cleaner. Toomba. Uh, you're about to enter the Toji's world. For that, you'll need an interaction device. In other words, me. We will go through an initialization process. Don't worry, it's very simple. Even though we are in a 3D platformer, controlling me might be a little different than usual, of course. Please, follow this tutorial. All right, buddy, we're definitely gonna do that. And of course, this is how we use the character to look around. I mean, look at this. This is gonna be our character, the Roomba. <laughs> you uh, just simply walk like this and jump, I guess, just like that. There we go. Wait, what? Press forward to hop. Oh, I had no idea this was gonna be a thing. Interesting. Look, Toji's or Toji's. Toombas are known for being vacuum robots. Why don't you just try to erase the little guys? All right. Uh, how do you erase them? Oh, by simply holding this. Oh my God! But we're coming a huge vacuum, though. We can move freely without Toji's. How about you try and reach the tiny uh, Toji? Shiny Toji's can be erased. We can remove also add Toji's. Uh, go near the shiny Toji in order to uh, spread. That's how you'll progress in your journey. Okay. So if I go to this fella, you cannot suck him in, but I actually have to go ahead and spread. Ah, look at that. I'm just covering it with uh, two Gs. You can use both Toomba and two Gs to interact with the world. With the Toomba, you can manipulate objects and clear new paths for the two Gs. And with two Gs, you can activate and collect items. Try to move the block on the path and activate the uh, hidden button. Okay. So I guess you gotta do that. Ah. So if I'm pressing this button, not only are we sucking in the little guys, right? But we're also kind of becoming like really huge. And that allowed me to push this button. I get it. Oh, and of course, we can hold like that. You can uh, go on top of it. And what I gotta do now is just create a path from this one. Oh, do we have to here? Congrats. Initialization completed. That's all for now. Remember, you can explore freely and find new places to spread the 2Gs. You will now meet the all-powerful king president of the 2Gs. Awesome. All right, and look at that. We have made it to the uh, 2G Palace. Introducing the king. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Hmm, you're finally here. You're a bit late for your job interview, aren't you? Uh, that's fine. As you probably know, we are recruiting for the position of the Universe Dominator trainee. Yes, I King President. I'm a professional Universe Dominator. And you're going to help me dominate the universe for the first time. Yes, I know. It is an honor for you to work with me. It's such an honor. You should be paying me for this incredible opportunity. Ah, hmm. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot. You already did. I hope you did. Because I understand that as a player, you see the whole world as a video game. I created the software so that it can help me in my uh, notable task of dominating the universe. And according to my research, your players usually look like human beings. My glorious 2G form can be intimidating, I know. That's why I prepared a little something we can uh, communicate so that we can communicate better. Oh man, he's so big. Wait, is it gonna just 
Oh, there we go. He's my size now. Or not really. <laughs> He's more like a human size. Hmm. <laughs> what the heck? Ta da! Okay, uh, maybe heroes don't dominate the universe, but we're doing this for a good reason. Um, I think at least. The universe is in danger. What is that sound, anyway? Hmm. The Void is trying to swallow everything. All the existence as we know it will cease to exist. You, me, the things we love, and especially video games, all will turn to nothing. We can't let that happen. Of course we can't. It's my duty as a leader of the 2Gs, and it's also yours as a 2G corporation trainee. Therefore, I, King President of the Cosmos, will dominate the universe to save it. Oh, what is that? Hey, it's King President. He's come to save us or see us. You should get used to calling me King President of the Cosmos. But you are Tucci. Yeah, well, I will be King President of the Cosmos very soon. Don't you worry. <laughs> Woohoo! I can't wait. Oh, um, hey, did a trainee finally appear? Hmm, is this the one that will help us, King? Hmm, mm, well, the player is just one of the many candidates fighting for the job. Hmm, well, I know you guys are excited, but don't just rush things. But, but I want to see the universe soon. Oh, you will, my boy, you will. I will. <laughs> Since you mentioned that, uh, let's explain how we'll go about it. All right, while I observe, you do all the work, right? Nothing too complex. I left the easy part for you. I know you think it's not fair for me, but don't worry. I'll take care of the red tape and the uh, diplomacy. They follow me, but I've given them Tumba Junior credentials, so they'll obey you, too. Okay, you just need to decide where the Tujis will be spread. Upon command, a Tuji will appear wherever you are. That's it. However, Tujis only appear next to the other Tujis, so stay close to one another to start spreading them. You can also pile them up, of course. You can have a lot of fun with those little guys. Yay, let's play! <laughs> See, they're anxious, but talk is cheap. I guess you want to show us your skills and impress the greatest boss in the world. <clears throat> uh, me. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's start your job interview. I know you've already gone through the initialization, but just to get the hang of it, go and spread a bunch of 2Gs. Tuba doesn't directly control the little ones, but tell them where to position themselves. You just need to order where the 2Gs should be spread. Alright, well, apparently, we gotta do like a stack here, I'm guessing. With a maximum distance of the 2G, you can also stack up the maximum amount of allow by color. The maximum height is reached by the amount of the stack, regardless of color. Hmm. Alright, and look at that. Oh god, I did not want to fall down. Man, but this game looks really, really special. Look at this. Uh, oh, what is that? Medieval Moon. Made in Medieval Moon. What? What is Medieval Moon? Hmm. I don't know what this is, but uh, let me see if I can spread some things. Ah, uh, so you can. Spread. Look at that. We're spreading them everywhere. Can I actually make like a huge tower? I mean, yeah, we are. Looks like you've reached the 2G limit. Hmm, you're good at this. See that box in the upper right corner? Well, that's the limit. That's where the 2Gs come from, and don't ask any questions if you're not prepared to hear the answer. <laughs> in the upper part, you can see how many 2Gs you've spread in the world. In the bottom part, you can see the maximum amount of 2Gs that can be spread. Ah, there we go. To the side, the maximum height you can pile up in 2Gs. In order to control that, you'll need to erase the 2Gs. So, in addition to spreading them, you'll also need to get them back. This way, your sprint cannot go on forever. Try to raise all the 2Gs out here. All right, let me suck all of them back in. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, I'm loving this game. I don't know, for some reason, it's very satisfying. Very good. You got the basics very quickly. Awesome, this was pretty easy. Look, seeds. Hmm, 2Gs love seeds. After eating a seed, the 2Gs become stronger and more determined, which means they can spread even more. I want it. <laughs> yeah, you can have it, kids. Yahoo! Seeds! Try to collect those seeds. Awesome. Alright, so I think seeds are everywhere. Each seed increases the Tujis by 5 points, and you can spread even more. When you eat the seed, the Tujis will now be erased, serving as a temporary checkpoint. Ah. So apparently if I want to have more... Wait, how do I... Ah, that's how you eat it. You gotta... Wait, that didn't work, actually. How do you suck them in? I'm guessing I gotta... Maybe do this. Yes, and that they collected. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, so you cannot collect these things uh, with your vacuum cleaner. You gotta go with the 2Gs if you wanna collect them. That's pretty cool. Fantastic. 
Don't forget, spread Tsujis everywhere. Be curious. So I just noticed that now, our limit of 1,000 Tsujis raised up to 1,040, which is awesome. And it raised previously spread Tsujis to continue spreading. That's it? Looks like we're finished here. Huh? Already? Is the game over? <laughs> no, my child. We've just finished this planetoid. We're just getting started. Whoa, there's more. Ah, you bet. All right. Let's continue through that door. Uh, okay, I love it. Now, before I do anything, though, I want to collect me all these 2Gs. For some reason, that one is glitched. Why? Oh, because it's connected to the other ones, maybe. Yeah. So if you want to collect them, you got to do it like... Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, the ones that collected, apparently, the ones that collected the candies are going to be permanently stuck in there by the looks of it. Interesting. Ah, and then you can start spraying from them. I get it now. Uh, what about that thing over there? Can I... Hold up. I want to actually try to make it all the way up here. Can I? Nope. Never mind. Off limits. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to make my way to that side, but apparently cannot. All right. In that case, let's get out of here. Wait, what do you mean off limits? I want to go... Oh, you know what? I think in order to go out, you got to do... That. Interesting. Ah, oh, that is just so cool. The way we jump into a different level. Are you kidding me? Who left this fruit here? So conveniently. Huh? <laughs> you have to talk to HR about this. But, Mr. King President, we like the trainee. We want to help. Mm. Well, you can't just help uh, the other player like that. Besides, he's not a trainee just yet. We're testing them. The player must surprise us. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. President. Oh, you. It's all right. Since this unexpected thing happens, uh, let's talk about the uh, fruits. As you've seen, the 2Gs won't stay where you put them forever. They can come back, or worse, be obliterated. Mr. King President? Uh, don't worry, that's not going to happen. Uh, I think. <laughs> I'm here to protect all of you, and the trainee must also protect the little 2Gs. We're trying to dominate the universe, but we're no monsters. We have dignity. That's where these fruits come in. See, 2Gs love fruits. It's their favorite foods. Apples, oranges, uh, watermelons, they lock all of them. If it is colorful, they'll eat it. <laughs> when you spread over a fruit, you eat it and transform into star 2Gs. Ah, delicious. In other words, they'll become indestructible and can come back. Is that incredible? I know, I know. We 2Gs are extraordinary. We are! <laughs> okay, well, when connecting fruits, we'll always have access to a certain location. But we'll need a few dozen to keep progressing around the outer space. That's how we're going to dominate the universe. King President? The best! Ah, <laughs> oh, stop it, you. Now, why don't you just collect four fruits here on this planetoid? Cool, huh? It's a big TG. That was my idea. It's good to be a genius. <laughs> Before you go collecting all the fruits, though, allow me a small comment. There are several aspects of the art of spreading for you to still dominate. The little ones behave in different ways in different terrains and locations. For example, you might think we're trapped on this platform, but it's possible to spread if it's a hole between you and the 2G. Hmm, be creative. Try to interact in a different ways, and the sky is the limit. Enough talk now. After collecting those fruits, we'll see each other in the next step of the interview. Huh. Alright, so of course, there are limitations and possibilities. If there is a 2G size hole between your current position and another platform, it is possible to spread. 2Gs can only spread up to a certain terrain angle, so be aware. Hmm. Okay. So, we gotta spread after a hole, apparently. Interesting. Um. So, I'm guessing what I gotta do... Oh, hold up, we gotta collect these things. What? What are these things? Ah, look at that. So you can actually spray like this. Huh. But I don't understand what these are, though. What? Hold up. Let me collect all of them back again. And let me figure the... I, I mean, there are different icons, so I don't exactly understand what's the deal with them. I'm guessing I gotta go up like that. And now collect here. But it doesn't go here. Oh, it does. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, which means I can now make my way maybe to... Oh, God. To this red one and collect it. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Uh, I have a feeling we gotta activate all of these, to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I gotta do. So, let me do a little bit of that. I gotta make sure I have enough 2Gs, though. I mean, we should have enough. We should definitely have enough. Alright, we got all these activated, right? That's kind of what I was trying to go for here. Oh god, I did not want to do that. There we go. This one has been activated as well. What about this? I cannot place anything over there. But what I can do... Is make my way up here and collect it. Come on, 2Gs. You gotta eat this, buddy. There we go. They ate it. And of course, they added more. Hmm. Oh man, this is just so fun. I'm loving these characters. Can I add 2Gs here? No. Unfortunately. But these arrows are showing me that I gotta come here with the 2Gs, right? And I think I may need to take this other path instead. So what I'm gonna do... Huh. Huh. Let me grab this one. Actually, we cannot because that one already ate. So that's going to be permanent, apparently. Alright, let me get up here. Let me get up here now. Oh my god, this is so fun. <laughs> Look at that. They're eating everything. Why did not... Oh, I think I got to make more to eat that one. Yes, we did. We got an orange. Oh, wait. And the, did this actually change to orange 2Gs right now? I think it did. Look at that. To just spread and erase from the currently selected color. Each 2G has a specific ability in describing the color menu. Just change the current color. Simply open the color menu and point to it in a direction of the desired color. How do you... Ah, so that's how you make him yellow. Huh. As you can see, each fruit has a specific color. Tujis are crazy about fruits, so they'll eat any fruit they can find. However, as a star, Tujis transforms according to the color of the fruit. That means you can only spread and erase Tujis of the same color. When you're raising a star Tuji, it returns all Tujis to the same color once. That can be very useful though. Use it as often as possible. Besides, each color represents a specific characteristics. For example, red Tujis are the most basic, suitable in any situation. On the other hand, yellow Tujis can pile up higher. But they use more of the limits. Ah, so be aware. Sometimes the color is better at one thing and worse at the other things. Maybe you need a bit of strategy to dominate the universe. As King President, nothing is difficult for me. But since you're not me, I'm explaining it to you. <laughs> Let's move on. Hmm. Alright, so... Interesting. Apparently when I move the camera like this, you can actually see that thing changing there. Alright, uh, let me actually grab me my Tsujis over here. Ah, I collected all of them at once. That was so cool. I wonder if I can open this up if I bring the Tsujis over. Let me go with the red ones. Oh, I collected all the red of them and I wanted them to be on top of those flowers. Anyway, I guess we're gonna have to keep on looking. Uh, I wonder if I can actually have Tsujis on top of these ones and push it down. So that's a bird. Can I do anything with these birds? No, you can only scare them off, apparently. But of course, I want to get me this thing, this flying thing, whatever this is. So, let me start bringing Tsujis over again. Go with the red one. Uh, spread it over here. God dang it, dude. Place it on this side. Activate these things again, whatever these are. Alright. Just one here, one. And now I want to make my way all the way on this side. Alright, spread on top of the objects. Ah, I get it now. So we gotta turn this red. That's what we gotta do. There we go. Awesome. I get it now. That's so cool. And of course, we collected that as well. Uh, I don't see any fruits that we had to collect here. But, what I really want to try to do is make my way at the bottom here. I want to see if, he, if I can actually press on that thing. This one. You can! What? So what? Hmm, what did that do? I think there's multiple of them, so maybe I should just leave them over there. Activate all of them, and maybe if I activate all of them, I'm going to get something return, I wonder. It might happen, to be honest. It might definitely happen. Uh, let me get me more 2Gs then. 
So, first of all, let me keep on spreading all the way over here to grab these ones. And the great thing about it is that now we have seeds over there. We can start building from that side, right? In case uh, we're going to be out of uh, fruits. But let me grab these ones as well. There we go. We got a strawberry. Awesome. There we go. All right. There are three functions of a fruit. Game progression. Spread Toji's on the top of it, collect it, and turn it into a star Toji. A star Toji, it serves a checkpoint as you can continue spreading from that location, of course. And when raising the star Toji, all Toji's will return. Ah, but I don't want to re raise the star Toji, though. Yeah, we definitely want to have that star Toji over there. So that one's going to remain where it is. Uh, stack. Hold up. Can I also spread this one up so that I can make it? Red as well, I wonder. Pretty sure we... Yeah, we should, but I cannot do it from here, never mind. I think I should do it maybe from the start to G. Although it kind of looks like we've already done that. And I see another flower over here that we got to activate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, in that case. Oh, God. Did not want to do that. Um, let me add a few of these fellas. Let's see if I can actually take him down. Come on, buddy. Follow me. I gotta go here. Aha! There we go. And now... We can't... Not get this one activated for some reason. Why? There we go. We activated it. Awesome. Alright, so we got another flower activated here. At least I think so. I do want to collect a few of them, though. Just like that. Uh, did not want to do that. I want to make sure this is not going to disable. All right, so let's just leave those ones over there for now. We have another one that we got to activate here, right? So let me get some more 2Gs. Oh, you know what? There's also this bad boy over here that we forgot about. There we go. This one is activated. I'm not sure exactly what these flowers are giving me when I'm activating them. So um, I'm going to have to keep on doing it until we're going to figure it out. All right, this one has also been activated. So I think we have three of these ones so far. And more Tucci's over here. Perfect. Love it. Um, I also want to get this one. So, let me get some 2G's this way. What is that? Whoa, what the heck? I created like a bridge for me. <laughs> hmm. I think he is. How do I get this collected, though? Oh, I think I know how you got... Yeah, I think I know. I think I know. I think I just got to move really, really fast. So I got to spread this up to make it big. And now... We got it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was so special. All right. We got another fruit, which means we just got to find one more fruit. And uh, we should be all good. Let me look around. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you know what? This is the fruit that we need. The one at the bottom here. Because I already see where we started the game. That's where we started, right? And we just went to a very close by world here. Can I go around this world? No. Can I go down here? This is still saying, made by medieval moon. Whatever that is. Hmm. This is such a strange world. Okay, so what I want to do is make my way to the other fruit, which is not down here, not down here. Oh, I think it's right here, yeah. Which means I got to take the two Gs this way. There we go, we got it, fashion fruit. All right, we got all of them. And the portal is open. Perfect. Yeah, I was hoping that by getting those flowers activated, something, some like a secret or something would activate. But apparently that was not it. Hmm. You guys let me know if that is a thing and if I should actually check it out. But as far as I can tell, it's not. Oh, and I just noticed you can actually do double jumps. Interesting. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, man, this world is so special, though. I love it. 
HR asked me to ask a few questions. Where do you see yourself in five years? How's that relevant now? If you were a banana inside a blender, how would you get out? What is this? Ah, name five of your strengths and five weaknesses. Seriously? Ah, oh my, who created such nonsense questions? Ooh. Mr. President, you asked us to write those questions down. Ah, smarty pants, a lot of you. There should be some kind of a logic behind this, even if it doesn't seem like it's right now. You know what? I like you. Let's ignore these silly questions for now. Now that you already know the basics, why don't you just try and explore this area? Spread some tujis, collect the seeds, and eat some fruits. If you want to end this interview, just come to see me at the throne of Planetoid. You're free to go now. But make no mistakes, I'll be watching you. <laughs> Assume, is this the player that'll help us? I like them. Now go and come see me whenever you want. Alright, awesome. This is how you progress. Spread two G's and explore the world. Find fruits and spread it to the top of the collected. After a specific amount, you will unlock a new world. Perfect. Right, well in that case... Let me just activate all these flowers. What do you guys can see? Nothing's really happening when you're activating these flowers. Hmm. I was hoping it would. But it's not. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna focus on the flowers anymore. What I'm gonna focus on is... Collecting me these two. I did not want to go out of this world. Ah, uh, so you can actually go back and forth. That is so cool. Okay. That is pretty cool. Uh, let me make my way back up here then. Dude, I want to get my 2Gs out of here. No, I want to leave. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Let me leave through this side then. Come on. Get me out of here. There we go. Alright, and we're back. Um, let me keep on exploring. I see that there's two thingies at the bottom that I want to get. So let me check these out. What is this? Ah, there we go. Of course, more 2Gs. We're going to be able to actually have more. Alright, we got more 2Gs over there. If I keep on going around the world, uh, this is going to reset me. So... Let me go across the bridge. Can I go in the water, I wonder? Oh, you can go... Oh, you can go in the water. Huh. <laughs> uh, oh, so we do have some of them down there. Alright, in that case, let me go ahead and collect them. There we go. We got them. That was pretty cool. Uh, next up. Oh, we got a T. I think we are supposed to collect the word 2Gs. But I'm not sure how to actually do it. Um, hmm. How do you even get this collected, I wonder? What if I use this guy? Stick up to 7 2Gs, construct electricity. Costs to limit. Ah. So the yellow 2Gs are for electricity by the looks of it. I cannot grab this. Hmm. Interesting. How do I get close to that T? Oh, you know what? I think I gotta get down. Maybe get up here. But I still cannot get this. Hmm. Ah, I have no idea you can do that. So can I actually collect like this? No. Explore and go talk to King President. I know, I know. I just want to collect me this C, but I have no clue how to get it. Hmm. I feel like I may need some 2Gs that would allow me to create bridges. Is that more I do not have that ability? And maybe that's when I'm going to have to come back, right? Yeah, look at that. I cannot go through here either. Interesting. And if I go this way... Nothing here either. Alright, uh, what if I go with the 2Gs on top of... Oh, we're killing them. Wait, did I also die? What? A mm. 2G died? How graceless of you. <laughs> Am I dead, King President? Huh? Uh, you should be dead, little one. Not talking to us. Did I do something wrong? Ah, mm. uh, don't worry, my child. You didn't do anything wrong. It was our player here. I told you we should take care of the little 2Gs. So get on with it. But I understand, these things happen. When a 2G dies, it returns to its starting status as a wool ball. And they become unavailable to spread. You need to raise the wool balls to save them. 
Ah, you don't want to leave them there, right? Risking their lives. King, send help. <laughs> hmm. So apparently, uh, that's how you get them back. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So of course we cannot go on the spikes or else they will actually perish. What about that hole? Okay, nothing we can do with that hole apparently. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around, I guess. And then up here. Perfect. Wait, is this like an eraser? What? Huh. Rubber returns 2Gs back to you. How do we activate again? Rubber turns 2Gs faster in one area. Yeah, I know, I don't know, I, know, I don't, but I don't know how to activate it. That's the problem. Huh. So if I do this... Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let me go this way, because I do see... Oh, spikes, of course. All right, we cannot go down there then. At least not through here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these guys over on this side. Oh wait, what? He disappeared. Huh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, faster. Oh god, I fell down. <laughs> you gotta be very fast. The thing is, we have so many 2Gs, I, sh I shouldn't be afraid of uh, using 2Gs, to be honest. Oh god. Alright, we gotta get 2Gs this way. They kinda disabled there, but that's fine. There we go, we got them all back. But we have to also go this way as well. Ah, they're gonna be Ida, never mind. Dang it, I gotta be a little bit faster. Alright, and... Come on! There we go. We got it. Awesome. So what did this do? Ah, it filled up that hole and now I can get, get across with the two Gs. I get it. Interesting. So now, if I go over here. Look at that. We can bring the two Gs to this side. I get it now. And of course, we can also go to the other side to get ourselves another fruit. I did not want to do that. <laughs> there we go. Come on, two Gs. Don't want to go on the button. I think I got to go around just like that. There we go, buddy. We got our first fruit on this area. <laughs> oh, man, this is just so cool. Explore and talk to the king president. I know, I know. I know what we got to do. Um, hmm. So apparently, I can't clean up the entire area if I eat this guy up, right? And that's going to just get him all back to us. I get it now. Huh. And this way, the wins that we use on that side, we're not going to waste them. Um, I get it. Man, this game, love it. It is just so different from what we've played so far. Uh, let's go with the button. And now we can actually go across like this. Alright, pay attention not to fall down there. Oh, what about this hole? Oh, you know what? There's another fruit over there. But I have no clue how to grab that one. I think I gotta go on top of this. Yeah. Can I maybe clean this up? No. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what if... What if I take the 2Gs and I go the other way? Um, let's see, like maybe over here. And now, you cross with them to this side. Ah, you can! Awesome! We got another fruit. And of course, from this fruit now, we can actually bring them over and carry on from this one. Perfect. That was cool. And we can, of course, climb up here if you want to. Now, the thing is, we could also go through this side. I think that may be a little bit better. Um... Let's see. But this is just taking us to the other side where we've, where we've already been to before. So what I'm going to have to do here then is do a little bit of that. 
And I'll cross through here. God dang it. There we go. We got it. Perfect. Wait. There's one over there. Got it. Perfect. Stomp while in the air. What does that do? Ah, you can push them aside. I get it. So that's how I should, was supposed to click that. Although I figured it out. Um, so for example, if you cannot get underneath there, all you gotta do is that and simply stomp. And you push it into it. I get it. That was so cool. Alright, uh, let me get the flying 2G over here. And this is giving us... Ah. Is he gonna fly somewhere else? So that I can actually grab that T? Hmm. No. What if I do this more? Is he gonna do it a little bit further? No, it's not. Interesting. Okay, never mind. I'm grabbing these two Gs back again. I really, really want to get me this T, right? But I have absolutely no clue how to do it. Maybe I don't have the proper characters, the proper two Gs. Yeah, how do I get this? Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed... You know what? I think I know. I think I know. Let me try something. Maybe I should uh, use the uh, yellow ones, right? Because the yellow ones are able to do a little bit more. So, let's give this guy... That. Spread it up. From here. Let me go back this way. Seriously, dude. In that case, let me go this way. Go. And over here. Hmm. The thing is, I cannot make it down there. So maybe I'm supposed to do. Hold up a minute. That? I mean, that works. Get a little bit closer. And we got it. There we go. We got the T. Oh, you found one of the 2G letters. Those are collectibles, you know. If you get all of them in a level, sometimes something will happen. You should try it. A reward for exploring the cosmos and something to remember the journey by. Now, go play! <laughs> awesome, we got ourselves our first T, of course, from the first level over here. That's pretty cool. Oh man, Vacuum Simulator 2022. Love it. Never thought I would be able to actually play a game like this. Um, I think we are supposed to go to this area over here. Look at all these things. You gotta collect here. I wonder if these are giving me anything. I don't even know. But let me interact with this fella. Talk. Hey, the trainee has come to save us. But the king president said no one should help you during the uh, exam. Stay inside and don't help the player. That's what he said. So we're hiding from you, but just for now. We want to see what's going on. Don't listen to those little guys. Don't to those I little never guys. say anything like that. Don't listen to those little I'm too embarrassed to say hi. <laughs> huh. What am I supposed to do with them? Maybe I'm supposed to color their house? Yeah, because it doesn't look like anything is happening if I do that, so never mind. Right, let me grab my 2Gs back. Um, I'm going to try to collect... All of these things to see if they're going to give me anything. They're kind of showing me the path where I got to go, yeah. Wait, what did I just collect? Did we just eat the bird? No, I had no idea we can actually eat the bird. Alright, let me try to eat this bird then. <laughs> ah, dang it, that did not work. That was close though. Huh. Dang it, that did not work either. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you can actually eat the birds. That was so weird. Uh, in that case, let me collect that. I don't think we can collect it here, though. Alright, uh... Let me go a little bit this way. Around like that, and that's not gonna work because it's way too high. In that case, let me keep on going straight up. There's so many of these houses, though. And we got another. Right here, awesome. Okay, that's been collected. Uh, if I go this way, I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest. 
What is that? Ah, I think you gotta push it down. That's what I gotta do. There we go. Wait, what? What the? It looks like this is time based. No, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again, let's try it again. The thing is, I don't have a key to open that up, so... Probably gonna be doing this... Not right this time. Never mind, we got it. What is that gonna give me? Ah, uh, fruit. Okay. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and eat it up. Thank you very much. Alright, and now that we got everything, let me actually collect all the 2Gs back again. Come on, buddy. There we go. All of them have been reset, which means we can now make our way back to this side. So, what do we gotta do next? Hmm. I see that there is a few 2Gs, the yellow 2Gs up here, but I don't think I can climb up here. At least not with this fella, right? I think I may need the uh, yellow ones to climb up. So let me switch to the yellow ones. Oh, you know what? In order to actually go with the yellow ones, we have to start up from here. Or can I start up from here? No, because this one is red, I get it. Hmm. But we can definitely start up from here. Alright, come on, buddy. Keep it going. It does get a little bit higher. Interesting. Um, let me go this way. And try to climb up here. Is it gonna work? It is! Yes! Awesome, we got more yellow 2Gs. Perfect. Uh, oh, you know what? I also noticed that this thing also turns yellow, right? So this means if I give this guy yellow, it's probably gonna make like a longer bridge. Ah. Uh, Alright, right, well, we figured it out. Um, now we don't need to do that anymore, of course, because we already got what we needed. What about this fella? Hey, the trainee has come to see us. But the king said not to talk to. Yeah, we already talked with these fellas, so never mind. In that case... Let me keep on going this way. This guy's hiding away from us, so... Uh, what if I go this way and collect these things? <laughs> awesome. Perfect, we got it. I think I'm gonna have to switch to the red 2G because the yellow ones are consuming a lot of energy. So, let me go with this and keep on going this way. Oh, you know what? There's a fruit up here that we gotta collect. Actually, it's not a fruit. It's already a red 2G that we gotta collect or that we gotta use to connect to. But I do see more stuff over here. Hey, buddy. All right, we got it. Awesome. Uh, from this side, I think I'm gonna keep on going here. Uh, is there anything up here? Might be. So many 2Gs. Oh, wait. Apparently, we can activate this one. But the question is why? Because I don't think I can color his house. Yeah, but it looks like we cannot charge it up. So that's not gonna work. Um. If I just activate this, that's just gonna disable everything around. And I do see a few more 2Gs on this side. Or more like, yeah, 2Gs that we gotta collect. So, let me climb up here. Come on, buddy. Why can I not climb up here? Uh, let me do this. <laughs> and we got it. Right, uh, so how do I get on top of that? Yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna... Actually, I could be able to do this if I use the yellow guys. And in order to use the yellow guys, I gotta go all the way back here. Reset them all. Just like that. And now switch back to yellow. And now, from this side, I gotta go this way. Perfect. 
I don't know if he's gonna be long enough though to climb up here. Never mind, look at that. It is long enough. That was epic. And I think I can also keep on climbing up here as well. Wait, what? No, not just myself. I also need the two Gs. Maybe they're able to climb higher because of the grass on the wall. Yeah, that's why. Interesting. There we go. Oh, this one is taking us down. No way. Well, that's a thing. I'm gonna bring all of them back then. And I'm gonna keep on going this way. And then try to get myself another 2G. Oh, and once you get the red one, it makes it red here. I get it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Well, with that done, of course, we also have that garden over there that we gotta get to, right? Um, we also have a button over there that we gotta push. As for this side, I don't really see much that we gotta do. I think I'm gonna have to go to this fella. I wanna see what he's gonna activate. And I think I'm gonna wanna the yellow 2Gs to do it. So, let's just activate. Actually, nope. I just wanna suck all them in. And make. Oh god, no, no, no. I need the yellow ones. Uh, let me use the yellow ones. And the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna get this thing activated with the yellow. Alright, let's see what's gonna do. Oh! Okay. Oh, this is a large fruit, though. How do I collect this thing? Hmm. Unfortunately, there's no 2G that falls down here. Because if that was a thing, that was that, that would be perfect. Um, how do we do this? I was hoping this would actually give me more 2Gs. But apparently it's... Wait, what? It now did it less. What? I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, the same level. Hmm. Oh, you know what? If I have 102 Gs, we can actually open this up. Hmm. Since when has this barrier been here? Hmm. Weird. I don't know this metallic parade. What do these machines even want? It looks like this barrier is asking for something. Supposedly, you'll have to spend 102 Gs on top of it to proceed. Uh, as I said, keep your eyes open. There's always something interesting opening in the world. <laughs> All right, so apparently I got to place 102 Gs on top of it to open it up. Hmm. And I think I got to go this way, yeah, to make my way up there. Well, in that case, hold up. Uh, first of all, what if I take the path at the... Wait, come on. What if I take the path at the bottom here? Like this. The thing is, there's spikes over there, right? So I'm not even sure how I'm going. Oh, actually, we can cross. But we got to be very, very careful to do it like this. There we go. And now... Wait, what? Huh. I don't know how I got that, but anyway. We got another fruit. That's what I needed. And I think this is a different color, or is it yellow? It is yellow. <laughs> oh, there we go. So this one has been activated. Hmm. Okay, now if I want to go back, I got to go this way. Uh, but I am actually going to suck all of them back in here. Just reset them. There we go. I think if I don't mistake, you can also go down. Actually, you cannot go on that. Never mind. Uh, so I'm actually going to make my way back through here. There you go, buddy. Come on. Keep her going. And we need more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Uh, from this side, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep on going this way. And try to climb. Oh, there we go. But the thing is, we need yellow ones, right? To activate this. Apparently, a hundred of the red ones also works. So, I guess, let's fill it up. Come on, buddy. There we go. 
Oh, add it. Uh, oh, dang it. Those are lasers that are getting us killed. In that case, let me go over here. Like that. Like these ones as well. And make a straight line from here. Awesome, we got it.